Hey guys, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the new Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. I say it's new, but I'm pretty sure it actually came out a few months ago. I'm a little bit behind the power curve, but a few days ago, I was at the drugstore picking up some foundations because I'm really trying to get on a top 10 drugstore foundations video for you guys. And in the process, I picked this along with a few other foundations up. And when I Instagrammed a picture of them, I asked if you guys wanted to see reviews, in, and a few of you said that you wanted to see one on this particular foundation. So here I am doing it for you. I hope you guys find this useful. So to start, I'm going to read what it's supposed to be. Um, from Straight from their website, it says the makeup so refreshingly light it melts right in, creating a fresh, even look. So the only one that knows you're wearing makeup is you. Blends seamlessly, has buildable coverage. And that's pretty much all that the website says of this foundation. Overall, that's really exactly how I would describe this foundation. It's very light wearing. When I first put it on, it's a little less Thick. I don't want to say it's watery because it's not by any means. It's just less thick than like what I've more normally been wearing, which is this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. The other difference is that this has a dewy finish. A lot of people were comparing this to NARS's Sheer Glow Foundation. I personally haven't tried that, but what I can tell you is that this definitely leaves a dewy glow on the skin. Now for comparison's sake, I wanted to see if I could find any foundations that gave the same kind of finish to the skin and the closest I came was this L'Oreal True Match. This has a little bit more coverage and it's also a little bit shinier. I can't really describe the way this illuminates the skin because I can't find any pearlescence in the formula and I mean there are no outright glitter, you know, shimmery things in it. So I, I don't know how it achieves, it helps you achieve that lit from within look, but it really does. It's not an overwhelming sheen or dewiness on the face. And I really like that. It is, I would say, a more medium coverage. And when I tried to build it to a heavy coverage, it got a little streaky. So I would say that there is a ceiling to its um, layerability, but it still is very layerable. I think you could apply it with your hands and get somewhat of a sheer coverage, or you could apply it with a brush like I like to, and I did in getting this look today, and get somewhat of a, a more heavy coverage. Also, just to clarify what I mean when I say medium to fuller coverage foundation is that it's going to cover up very minor discoloration. You're still going to have your purpley blue bags under your eyes. You're still going to have a little bit of redness from acne, but the very um, minor thing, you're still going to have, you know, beauty mark mole things, but the very minor things will be covered and it just really evens out your complexion. I feel like this is a great foundation for those looking for lighter coverage. I mean, you want a little bit more, but you don't have a ton of extra things that you want to conceal because that is a job for double wear, my friends. The other thing I want to note about the finish with this foundation is it doesn't get that much dewier throughout the day. As I've had happen with, say, this, uh, my Makeup Forever HD, is that it, you start off with this nice, healthy, dewy glow, but then at the end of the day, I look in the mirror and it's like Shinesville. It's unbelievable. And I, the, I didn't notice that happening with this, and I was shocked, frankly, because I totally expected it to just get worse as you're, as, you know, throughout the day as your skin naturally produces its oil and you don't blot it or remove it somehow, I thought it'd get worse and it didn't. So I thought that was very cool. Another thing I liked about this foundation was that it dried, not matte obviously because it has a dewy finish, but it dried and it stayed. I didn't notice it coming off as much when I would, you know, touch my chin or my face or when I would put my cell phone up to my face. I didn't notice as much product coming off. It definitely does come off. There's no getting around that, especially since I didn't set it with a powder. Um, but I noticed less coming off. I just never really associate somewhat of a lighter foundation, no, lighter coverage foundation with having that kind of staying power to me. So my shade, or the shade that I'm wearing right now, is 130 Shell, and I feel like on camera this looks a little off. My face looks not necessarily darker, but just different than the color of my chest, but in real life that is not the case. I think that's a lighting issue and a camera issue. Um, I think this is the best shade for my skin without having to mix, match, and make my own shade. I didn't notice a ton of oxidation, like very, I mean, almost indiscernible, which is great because I hate having to buy a different shade of foundation only just to plan on it getting darker throughout the day. I think that is great that it's minimal oxidation. So I feel like those are all of the points that I wanted to hit with this foundation. Um, if I've missed anything, left anything out, please feel free to ask me questions about it in the comments section and I will try my best to answer them and get to them. Otherwise, I would recommend this for very dry, dry combination. I think you might be pushing it if you have oily skin, 
but uh, very oily skin should stay away from this but I, I think you might be pushing it with oily skin but if you like a dewy finish and you don't mind it getting a little bit dewier throughout the day I think you'll really like this if you don't want you know you're not looking for double wear coverage you want something a little bit lighter something that'll let um, very minor natural features shine through like I can't see freckles only very pigmented freckles can I see um, through this but it doesn't look like a mask you know so it's not full coverage but it's still like medium ish those you guys might like this and obviously if you want a relatively affordable drugstore foundation I think this is a good way to go I can't remember how much it was in fact let me grab my receipt so this is ten dollars I would say it's a relatively good buy I mean there's the wet and wild coverall that I reviewed a few months ago that is you know like three dollars and that's a stellar buy this is getting up there and I do notice that because of the texture I'm having to pour a little bit more out I mean I've used this for less than a week at this point probably four to five days and it's already down to about there so I do think I will go through this a little bit faster than some other foundations um, but even still ten dollars is not the thirty dollars you might spend on Tarte or the forty on Makeup Forever like it's just it, it still is a good deal despite being a little bit more expensive for drugstore. I do think it's a good, it's still a good price. So those are my thoughts on the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. I hope you guys found that helpful if you hadn't already formed your opinions on it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to see you in future videos. Bye.